Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to the Mama Elephant June 15th release. This is Rena. Remember to leave a comment below. Mama Elephant will be selecting a random comment from this month's videos to win a stamp set. So first up, we have Little Witch Agenda. These were so super fun to work with. And I believe there are two other Halloween themed Mama Elephant Little Agenda sets, the Mummy as well as the Ghost. My favorite one from this stamp set is the third row, fourth one. I think it's so cute how the little kitty is riding on the back of the witch. Here is a look at the coordinating dies for Little Witch Agenda. Also today we're going to take a look at Big Boo and Trick. This die set includes two large scale sentiments, Boo to you as well as Trick or Treat. I'm going to be coloring the images today with Copic markers and I thought I would make the skin green on these little witches so I'm using G20 and G21 to do that and the face is the only thing that I'll be sort of blending um, on the images. The images are super small so I I'm just going to use one color to color, you know, the different clothes and accessories. So after I do the face, I thought I'd do this sort of like assembly line style. So first I did the face and I'm ink blending the G20 and G21. And then next I'm going to do the hair. And I kind of want their bodies to be consistent. So the hair, will be, hair color will be the same for everyone. I'm doing E74 for that. And then next, I'm coloring the kitties all the same color. I believe I used N1 for the kitties. I also love these little images here with the kitties and the pumpkins. Um, so next is my orange color. And then I'm just coloring anything that I need orange to be orange. I also colored the little um, tie on the brim orange as well. I'm going to color the witch's outfit um, in N5 and I'm only doing like the top portion of the hat and then the outside of the outfit in the N5. So this coloring went really fast because I'm just doing everything the same and I'm doing it all at once. I'm totally loving the green skin. I was also thinking of purple skin, but I haven't seen that. So I decided to stick with the green skin. And then for the little outfits, I thought I would do half of them with a purple trim and the other half with a green trim. And I really liked how that turned out. I was a little intimidated at first before I colored the images because there were so many and there were like so many pieces, but it turned out fine because I had decided like they're all going to be the same color except for, you know, the trim and it worked out really well just doing everything at once. I had forgotten about the little mummy agenda and the little boo agenda, which is the ghost. I think it would be so cute to pair these, uh, those Halloween sets together on a Halloween card. I really liked how this green came out too. I like that color theme also. I really enjoyed making these holiday cards this month, these Halloween cards this month. So here's what it looks like, all colored. Look how cute these little witches are, so cute. Here is what they look like all cut out. And when I cut them out, the die order is the same as the stamp order um, when you're um, using the coordinating dies. Here's a look at the Big Boo and Trick dies. One says Boo to You and the other says Trick or Treat. I'm going to be using the Boo to You for this card that we're making here using the house grid cover. I cut out the house grid cover in purple and then I'm going to 
plug in the holes at the bottom because that's where I want to place my boo to you sentiment. So I've mounted that on some black cardstock and then I'm going to take back those purple pieces and insert them back in into the house grid. I just needed a little area to put that boo to you at. I like doing this for the grid dies, just plugging back in the holes. If I want to add a sentiment or if I want to add something a little bit bigger. Um, and we're just going to use wet glue to adhere the sentiment at the bottom there. Off camera, I did add another layer to the boot to you. So that would be two layers on top of each other. I just wanted it to have a lot of dimension. Now we're going to take some of our images from Little Witch Agenda and add them to um, the windows of the house. I love it. I loved working with these images. They're so, so cute. I think always for the fourth video that I make, I just start grabbing random stuff from my desk. So I had um, these clouds from the Slim Scenescape Builder, and I'm just adding them for some atmosphere behind there because I wanted to add some of the witches that were riding the brooms. Um, I just needed just something a little bit extra there um, so I could so the witches could stand out a lot more. So I added those clouds, I cut off the excess, and then now I'm adding the two little witches um, kind of near where I placed the clouds. I had two extra images and I wanted to use every single image from the stamp set. So I'm adding like the two rogue images at the bottom near Boo to You and it's the little kitty with the cauldron. So, so cute, and the little kitty with the pumpkin. Here's the second card. I'm using the cloud grid cover. This released last month, and I thought it would be really cute to do it in like a purple theme. I had already um, a bunch of purple paper that I had already cut into, and I just wanted to use the rest. So I'm using it for this card, and then I'm taking the rest of the Little Witch Agenda images and I mounted all of the images with foam tape and then now I'm placing them on top of the little cloud. I think this uh, grid die is so perfect for these little witches. Now that I'm looking at myself putting this together, I realized I forgot to put a sentiment on this card. So I think what I'm going to do is I didn't end up using that trick or treat die. I might just adhere that to the inside of this card for the sentiment. Also wanted to add for the favor bag accessory, which it's that witch's hat. And I didn't realize that you could use that witch's hat on your existing um, favor bag accessory critters. So if you have any of the favor bag accessory critters, you can go ahead and put a witch's hat on them if you like, or use the witch's hat alone, which is um, what I did. So for some finishing touches, I've cut out a bunch of stars in black and white. And for this card, I'm going to use the white stars just to accent the card and just to add, um, just to make it look a little bit more festive. So I'm just adding them all over the place. I really like um, these little stars that came with the slim scenescape builder die set so again they were just on top of my desk and I decided just to cut it out some black and white paper with them so then I'm adding it all over the card here um, I think it breaks up some of the color um, and then for the other card that was that we use the cloud grid cover on I'm using the black stars and I'm really digging using black stars for uh, the Halloween cards. I think it looks so nice. Otherwise, I would never use black stars on like a different themed card. Um, but for Halloween, they're super perfect. And that is it. I'm calling these cards done. Remember the release drops June 15th, 12 a.m. Eastern time. 
as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe and happy crafting. That is a wrap for me. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.